So now I'm going to show you an example using Microsoft Excel to calculate your grade in a class. Specifically, because I'm recording this video for a class, we're going to learn how to calculate our grade, your grade. You're going to learn how to calculate your grade in this class. But if you're just watching this on YouTube and you want to learn how to use Microsoft Excel, this is a really good video to watch. I'm going to show you some principles and fundamentals of using Microsoft Excel. In addition, you can take my entire Excel training. I'm a Microsoft certified master instructor, a very rare designation. I know Excel thoroughly and I've been teaching Excel for over two decades, so I know it and I can teach it. You can take my course on Udemy. So let me just point that out to you. Uh, there, Udemy, the best Excel. Udemy.com, the best Excel. Here's my class, 62,000 students have been through it. Microsoft Excel from beginning, big, beginner to expert in six hours. That's six hours of video, so it's probably gonna take you a little longer to learn all that. And uh, here's a coupon code so you can get into the course for only $10. YouTuber, all right? So if you haven't taken that class, this class is gonna show you how to use Microsoft Excel. And if you're on Mac, there's the coupon code for Mac. So that's for Mac, that's for Windows. Got it? Screenshot that or write it down or whatever, or pause the video. Okay, cool. If you can't afford the $10, let me just say this. I will give you access to my course for free. Just go to Twitter, follow me, and then uh, once you follow me, you can message me on Twitter and say, hey Todd, I'd love free access because I'm a student because I live in the third world, because I just got laid off from my job, whatever your reason is, uh, you know, be more than happy to give you free access, because I really believe Excel is super important. All right, so now let's see how to use it. We're gonna calculate our grade in this class. Oh, I just closed some stuff. I'm not sure I want to close all that. And to, to do that, we need to get to our grade. So I'm gonna go into student view, and I'm gonna show you how to copy data from the web and put it into Excel. So now I'm going into student view and I'm gonna go look at the grades in student view because I'm the teacher, right? They've got an instructor view and a student view. Now you might have more stuff in here by the time it comes to copy your grade, right? But I'm just highlighting all this stuff, just scrolling up through it. So it's all highlighted. Now I'm gonna Command C on Mac or Control C on Windows. I'm gonna copy all that. You can see this flashing up here. That means I'm triggering something there. What I'm triggering is copy. So I just copied all that. And uh, a little bit of a comment there. That's kind of interesting. I'm not sure why that's there. But just taking a look at this. Uh, so we've got our normal things, our assignments, and then we also have our discussions. Okay, cool. So now I need to start Microsoft Excel. On a Mac, I could come down here to whatever the heck they call this thing. And there's Microsoft Excel. Alternatively on the Mac, Command spacebar, open spotlight, and just type in Excel and hit enter, and it'll launch it. So Excel is coming up now, baby. Here's Excel. I just want a blank workbook, so I just click this option. There's templates you could start with, but I just need a blank workbook. And now that I have a blank workbook, I'm ready to paste this data in. When you take data from the web, and paste it into Excel. You gotta kind of experiment a little bit to get it right. First thing I'm gonna do is just do edit paste. You'll notice, however, there's also paste special. So if I don't like the way paste works, I'll try paste special or vice versa. Actually, I'm gonna start with paste special and I don't want all the HTML, I just want text. Let's see how that comes through. And, uh, and that does not look right, right? That's not what I'm wanting because these are like, that's on a row, that's on a different row. So I'm gonna hit Command Z. Edit, undo, Command Z. And I'm gonna edit, undo one more time, Command Z. And that'd be Control Z on a Windows machine. Now I'm gonna try edit, paste special, and do Unicode text and see what that looks like. And that's no different, same deal. So Command Z, Command Z. So now I'm just gonna do edit, paste, and see what that looks like. And you can see this has all the HTML. So that dropped it into the columns, and that's the way I want it to be. I want the name, and I want the points. But I don't want all this HTML, so now, now, now that this is in Excel, I'm gonna click right here in this corner to select everything on that spreadsheet, 
right click out here over the selected blue stuff, copy it. Come down here to the bottom, launch a new worksheet with that plus sign. And now right click and I'm gonna do paste special or again, I could just done up here, edit paste special. Now I'm gonna, ooh, that's a different paste special. Now I'm just gonna paste in uh, the values and that's it, okay. So now I got rid of all that formatting and, uh, and I have the points that each one's worth and the name and I don't need any of this stuff. So I'm gonna select this row and that row, right click it and choose delete. And the way I selected those rows, click the column name and you can click the column name and drag over, or just click each one or click it and hold shift and click the last one. But there it is, right click now and delete. I got rid of those. So these are all the things from from Canvas. We're switching from Blackboard to Canvas. I was having to look for that word. These are all the things from Canvas, but part of our scores are based upon what we do in my IT lab. So I need to delete this first sheet here. I'm gonna just right click on that sheet down there. Delete that sheet, because I just, yeah, go away. I just need this right here. I just need those scores. Now I need to go to my IT lab. So I've got my IT lab here open, and I'm gonna go into the grades area. When you first come into my IT lab, you'll see course materials, grades, and technology in action, e-text. I'm going to grades. And then here I'm gonna to go to custom view, and I'm gonna do the same process. Because inside here, I've got my grades. And my IT lab sucks. Straight out, slow as mud, it's crap, and I'm required to use it for this class. So I apologize for that, but that's the way it is. If it is uh, my decision, we would not be using it. So I highlight everything. And it kind of got unhighlighted when I went over it, right? But these are still highlighted. So I don't know, that's just my IT lab, right? I'm just gonna go back and not mess with it. Command C on my keyboard, go back to Excel, launch a new worksheet, and I'm gonna paste and just put in the HTML. Because it's my IT lab, it's actually talking, and because it's HTML, it's actually talking to my IT lab server, which is why this is taking a day and a moon. All right, how's that look? That looks pretty crap. But did we get everything? I don't think so. We got access, Word, we got a few quizzes, and, uh, and I don't know what all this stuff is over here. Those are all those icons. So that didn't come through the way we wanted. And, uh, and now I'm just gonna go back here. Basically it did Windows 10 through Excel Chapter 3, is that right? Windows 10, Excel, it didn't even grab, it's just weird. My IT lab is weird. So I'm gonna undo that, Command Z, Command Z, Command Z, Command Z. And now let's just try Edit Pay Special and see what we get. Unicode text, wow, that's a lot better. So sometimes Pay Special works, sometimes Paste works. We've got all of our quizzes now, we've got our labs, we've got our final exam, and we have you know four for Word, we have four for Excel, we have four for Access, two for PowerPoint, and that's it. So cool, delete that, and delete this. And uh, all of these are equally weighted, so I'm just gonna randomly give them each 100. And these will be whatever score you have received on your My IT Lab deal. So that'll be, and they're all going to be out of a hundred, hopefully. That's actually, I'm going to pause this video and look that up just to clarify that for you. All right, cool. So now you should see some score here, which is like between zero and a hundred. If you don't, if you just see the dashes, you want to put a zero in there. So just check those settings. I think I have them right. Like I said, my IT lab is funky. But uh, if you see dashes, when you bring it over to Excel, just put a zero in there if you haven't done that, right? Just put a zero in. And otherwise, you should see some score between zero and 100. So you're gonna come down here and you're gonna get those. And now I'm gonna, you're gonna have all these scores for my IT lab, and then you're gonna have all these scores here for Canvas. Now we need to get those onto the same page and calculate our grade. So I'm gonna create one more page here. And uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is put in like a score for Canvas. So here's my Canvas score, here's my My IT Lab score. It's called My Lab IT now. And, uh, and then I'm gonna do my, my uh, class grade. Because my class grade 
is going to be a combination of what I've earned, 50% of what I've done on my T-Lab, and 50% of what I've done on Canvas. So now I'm going to copy all this stuff, so I'm just going to highlight it, clicked and dragged, holding my mouse button down, highlighting all that, Command C to copy it, come back over here, and I'm just going to paste it like over a little bit. So I'm going to call this Canvas, and I'll put it right here. So there's all my canvas stuff, and if I wanted to, I could color that just to like you know let everybody know that's the canvas stuff. And then this stuff here, here will be my lab IT, and I'm gonna go get the my lab IT stuff, highlight all that, right click it, copy it, bring it back over here, paste it, and now I give this a color too, and I'll just give it a different color. Cool, and I could double click right there on the little separator when I get that black like you know two-way arrow I can double click and when it's right like that I could drag it right drag it and I can double click and it auto fits the width. Alright so now I'm just gonna put in a few zeros here just you know to simulate that I didn't do an awesome job on everything. Copy that and just drag it down there we go. And that's the auto fill handle it's that little black handle right there I grabbed that and whoops I grab that and bring it down, right, and it auto fills down. It'll, it'll recognize patterns too, so if I do those, it'll do a pattern, and recognize a pattern, and auto fill that in. All right, so those are my scores. I now need to find the average for each of those. So I'm just gonna click right here, and I'm gonna go up to this formula sigma thing and do average. And I wanna average all this, so I'm just gonna click and drag over it. And get that one and hit enter. So there's my average in this course. I can make it a percentage if I want by clicking this percent icon right there. And that is like not right. So I could delete that and then try that again. Let me try making this a percent first. And now put in the average. And G2 through G83, that's right. And uh, well, the percent thing isn't looking nice, so I'm taking that off. And let's see, how'd that work out? So it's not working the way I want, so I'm gonna right click it, choose format cells. And then when I have format cells, percentage, two decimal places, I'm gonna go back to number. So there we go, 70.91. 70.91, that's my average on all those. So my next one up over here, I'm gonna click right there and just do the average again. And uh, it's the average of all those numbers. There we go, it's 86. And then I'm gonna say equals, put an equal sign right here. And then come down here and click on that score. There we go. And hit enter. And you can see it put that score right there. Because this, what's in this cell is gonna be equal to what's in this cell. So I put that there. And then my class grid grade is going to be equal to this one plus this one and I'm gonna put parentheses parens around that it's telling me I'm trying to do something and go away just okay get rid of those and put my print in there and divide by 2 and that's it it's B2 plus B3 divided by 2 and so my score in the class would be a 78.5 right now. So that's how you calculate your grade. That's how you use Excel, a little bit of using Excel. I just created a little formula there. That's, uh, those are all relative references, not absolute references. You can learn more about how to use Excel by taking that class, that training I showed you where I explain everything about Excel. But this is what you need to do for this class is calculate your grade. and. Uh, yeah, that's a little bit of an introduction to Excel. I hope you got some value out of this. You should calculate your grade in all your classes so you know exactly where you stand at all times. And this was using the points method, where we just have a point value for each assignment. There's a whole other way to calculate your grade using uh, averages, right? Weighted averages. And so that's that's a different video. But know that if you are in some class, you need to figure out if the class is using the points method or a weighted average method before you calculate your grade in other classes. All right, that's Excel.